Okay, uh, we now move on to IELTS speaking part two. Uh, your topic is describe a time when you traveled by public transport. Now, that public transport can be bus, train, uh, aeroplane is also public transport, but bus, train, that is going to be fine. Uh, when you traveled means past tense. Mm -hmm. When you traveled, the time one year ago, six months ago, and then you will mention. Mm -hmm. Where you traveled, you will talk about your destination and you can give reason. Uh, what was the purpose of your travels? You can speak about it. I was traveling mm -hmm. because I had to and all that. How you felt about it? Now, mm -hmm. this cue card is all in past tense. Right? Right. So you got to answer in the past. Mm -hmm. Well, your time starts now, please. I travel by public transportation about two years ago. Usually I prefer commuting by my own car, but uh, when Metro bus was introduced, so uh, I planned to travel by Metro, uh, by Metro bus. And the other reason was that my kids were really enthusiastic to travel by Metro bus, so I planned to set off for my mother's place. Uh, first of all, I bought tickets and then we went over the bridge by escalator. It was quite new thing to you know, use uh, escalator. So I enjoyed a lot. Then we had to wait a minute for bus. Uh, finally, we got on the bus. So the bus was fully packed with a number of passengers. People were jostling each other. So uh, we couldn't get any seat on the bus. However, we had a lot of fun over there. My kids made new friends, and there was an opportunity to you know, talk with the people about uh, the facility provided by the government. Moreover, there was a computerized system which I liked, so, uh, which was apprising people to get off the bus when they got their you know, uh, relatively subways or substations. And the second thing was that we were being aware of pickpockets. That was great. So to sum up, uh, I felt a really exhilarating experience because uh, my kids had never been experienced like that before. So uh, it was the memorable day of my life. Uh, I used this uh, transportation because I wanted to uh, familiar or I wanted to get my kids familiar with the transportation, public transportation. All right, fantastic, very well. You spoke well and you spoke for two minutes, uh, right? When you traveled, you mentioned where you traveled. Uh, you could talk about destination or, as well. Okay. And what was the purpose? You said it was for fun and all that and how you felt about it. You spoke well overall. Uh, like at the end, you said my kids had been experienced. Yeah. So it should have been my kids had experienced. Had or never my, been uh, yeah, yeah, no, not no, been. No, had my never kids had never experienced right. such thing, and I wanted them to be familiar yeah, yeah. with this type of thing. So, uh, like, apart from that, it was all very good. Uh, now, we move on to speaking part three. Mm -hmm. On what occasions do people need to stay? Yeah. No, just okay. a second. No, the topic was different, and part three questions are different. Okay. Well, anyways, I just asked you these questions. So, on what occasions do people need to stay awake even when they are tired? Hmm. Mostly people need to stay up late uh, because they have to, you know, they have to prepare for exams or they have to finish up their projects, uh, particularly, particularly by the end of the time. And some people, you know, stay up late when there is a function at home. However, they get exhausted, but they have to you know, stay up late till the functions end. Okay. How do they keep awake when they are tired? To my mind, some people have coffee or tea, or uh, uh, some people rinse their eyes or wash their faces, I mean, with cold water and do some stretches to refresh themselves. Okay, why do people feel tired a lot nowadays? Hmm. Uh, well, mostly teenagers are sleep deprived because they are stick to their gadgets and they keep on chatting or keep on you know, uh, playing online games. So they feel tired 
And the one thing I want to point out, there is a group of people such as ladies, they are taking less nutrition or insufficient you know, uh, calories because they, sometimes they get over consciousness about the, regarding their weight and uh, to keep their body shape up they go to they go extreme on okay, extreme diet okay now we are going beyond the question and uh, you need to come back why do people feel tired a lot nowadays so that's why these ladies feel tired feel less agile because of or, the deficiency yeah. of yeah, certain yeah. nutrients yeah. and all that yeah. what kind of people lack sleep um almost all kind of people lack sleep but the most affected are the youngsters because they have they have many distractions such as laptops or smartphones or so that's why they forget about their sleep and the other on the other hand young parents they have toddlers and usually you know small babies get awake at and every 2 hours at night sometimes they ask milk or sometimes they cry for no reason so that's why they have lack sleep okay all right that's good overall your speaking is quite good your uh, pronunciation is really wonderful you do have good fluency and you're using very good words at times you use very nice words and they are according to the question but sometimes i mean not occasionally but uh, very rarely there are grammatical mistakes mm -hmm. so these small mistakes you should overcome mm -hmm. uh, but still the way you spoke with this type of speaking you can easily get a seven band but if you're looking for 7.5 mm -hmm. or above, then you should overcome those grammatical Grammat mistakes and there you are. Because the way you are expressing yourself, that's really remarkable. Can I have a question? Sure. Uh, we, can we use uh, the word means you know or it's uh, uh, Okay, I tell you. Awful, yeah, I you so. know or any other word mm -hmm. that is just like your pet word or like you yeah, use yeah, it yeah, quite yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well. If you use it for a couple of times, that's mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. But if you use it quite a lot, mm -hmm. then it falls into that category. We call it repetition. Mm -hmm. So you should avoid it. But for a couple of times, that's okay. okay. But you know, uh, I'm saying you know. <laughs> I'm saying it rightly now. Yeah. Uh, saying you know to mm -hmm. examiner, yeah. that is informal. Mm -hmm. When you say you know some to someone, yeah. that like is friends. informal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you know, say you yeah, know, yeah, you know, yeah. you know. It means yeah. it's informal chat. Yeah, so it should be avoided. Yeah, thank okay, you. thank you. Thank you.